The objective of this video today is to talk to physical product brand owners who want to get into retail. I regularly get emails or I'll see comments on Instagram and on YouTube of people saying, hey, I've got a physical product. I'm either selling online or I'm selling in local stores. How do I get into bigger, bigger stores? How do I get those relationships and meet retail buyers? And you can, of course, go to a trade show or you can use other methods to reach out to retail buyers. But one of the easiest ways to do it is to actually go to a place where you know every person in that room is a decision maker. And so one of my favorite ways to meet people is ECRM. And so I wanted Joe to come on and share what ECRM is and how it can really help you meet retail buyers so that you can get into the stores that you're excited to get into. So thanks, Joe, for being here today. Thanks for having me on. Joe Ternowski is the VP of uh, content at ECRM, and he also writes for Range Me. And so he is prolific on LinkedIn. If you wanted to meet new retailers or you wanted to see what emerging brands are coming out into the industry, he is constantly posting content that is supportive of an emerging brand. So please go follow him and you'll get amazing content. Um, but Joe, why don't you start by explaining what ECRM is? Because it's like a trade show, but it's very different. But I'll, I'll take a step back and explain what ECRM is for somebody who has no clue what we do. So basically what ECRM does is we um, enhance the buying and the selling process between retailers, uh, food service operators, pharmacy and medical markets, and those suppliers that service them. So we, we uh, make the process more efficient and more effective. And we do that in a couple of ways. One is through our category specific programs, which include private pre-scheduled face-to-face meetings between buyers and sellers. And now that definition of face-to-face -face has just changed. It's no longer just in person, it's virtual as well. And we'll, we will get into that. And then the other way is through the RangeMe platform, which is a product discovery platform uh, for retailers. And the, the key here is relevance. So like Emily said before, is that you know, you're meeting with only the decision makers. So these are not huge expos where you have 80,000 people. They're very intimate, very category specific, and every single buyer who's there is relevant for every supplier who's there. Otherwise, they're not invited for that particular one. Now we span all of the categories of uh, fast moving consumer goods that you would typically see in a grocery store or a CVS. So the way we structure them, the in-person ones, we usually take over a hotel and we have, so at the start, right, when a buyer registers and a supplier registers, right, they are assigned a client success manager. And that client success manager has a consultation with them and learns about their respective businesses. On the buyer side, they learn what the buyer's needs and objectives are for the category. On the supplier side, they learn about the products, the categories and segments they serve, their capabilities, any certifications, anything that the buyer would need to know. Then as we get to the physical location, or a little bit before then, but in, in prep for that, they curate a schedule based on the relevance of those buyers to the suppliers. And that schedule is refined as we get closer and closer to the actual meetings. Then we'll, at the hotel, we have meeting spaces for the suppliers. Then the buyers, they come and they'll have a set schedule of appointments where they go from room to room to room or meeting space to meeting space to meeting space in those private meetings. Again, it's a very tightly controlled schedule. The goal is so that everybody gets every meeting that's on their schedule. Well, I love ECRM. So you're describing it right now. And so if someone's listening to it and they can't yet imagine it, I can share what my first experience was. And this isn't the most professional way to describe it, but it's pretty accurate. It's like speed dating with people who you already know are interested in, like, let's say you want to get married. You're like, I'm going to do speed dating to get married. Okay. So you have two people, you, you have to commit and say, Hey, I'm ready to, to find the one. And when you walk into ECRM, it's only vendors who can sell into retail and it's only retailers who are ready to buy. And so it's not like you get lost in the crowd of those trade shows that are massive. And most of the people that are there 
can't make buying decisions or are just, they got a pass from a friend. So you end up giving away tons of free product. You don't really know whether or not that retail buyer has walked past your booth. I felt like ECRM was such a powerful way to make sure that I'm really meeting people who can make the decisions, the, the real decisions. I, I'm not, I'm not getting yanked around because I'm actually meeting people who have influence and matter to my, to my business. And on top of that, not only is it effective at meeting real influencers, but it really helps you save time and money because going to a trade show in the traditional sense is expensive. It takes, you've got to move your staff and you have to set up massive booths. And ECRM really is so concentrated that you, you, maximize your time and the money that you spend because you're only meeting with people who really, really matter. I think you hit on a couple of key points there too, is that um, the, the relevance and efficiency that I talked about before. Um, sure, anybody can set up a meeting with a buyer, but we're helping these brands do it at scale, at a scale that would normally take them six months to a year to get all in front of all those people we're doing it in two to three days. So it's a, it's a, you know, a tough schedule. It's a grueling schedule, but you're hitting all of those people so quickly. And that, that's where, you know, the value comes in is that we're aggregating them. We're bringing them all together and we're getting this done so quickly, but we're also helping you prep. We're there for you at the sessions themselves. And then we're helping in the follow-up. So, it's not just the meetings themselves, it's all of the work that we help you with in advance and following the, uh, the sessions. And, you know, that's, and, and we also time these when the largest retailers in attendance are doing their planning. So we try to schedule these when the retailers are doing their planning so that, again, they're ready to buy. Um, and, and, you know, the goal is, to provide as many opportunities for that networking interaction in that small time space. And, and also unlike a, an expo is you don't need a big fancy booth because you're not trying to attract them to your booth. They're already coming. We're sending them to your space. You have the meeting. You don't need a big sign or anything. It, you, in reality, you can be effective just having a table and your products on the table and that's it. They're coming. You don't have to go fishing for them. And you're not getting two minutes of distracted time while everyone's trying to get that buyer. They're yours for those 10 or 20 minutes. You mentioned afterwards the follow-up help. So Range Me is one of the resources that is connected to ECRM. It's paid for separately, but it's such an interesting way that you can also continually be in front of retail buyers making decisions. And so for anyone who has not yet viewed range me. It basically is like a Facebook, but the only members are vendors or buyers. And so really it's only buyers that are looking at your profile. And so it's nice because if you just have your products up there, sometimes you'll get emails that CVS is looking for submissions on a particular category that they're trying to focus in. So you sort of get insider information just participating and it creates basically a profile page with all of your products. So similar to an Amazon product page in terms of appearance, but the people who are viewing it are decision makers. So I think it's a great resource for, for any emerging brand trying to get into retail. And one thing I wanted to add to that is there is a lot of integration between RangeMe and ECRM. So for example, every single supplier that registers for one of ECRM's programs, they are onboarded onto RangeMe with a basic profile. So and then they have the opportunity to upgrade to premium, which gives you a whole host of other uh, benefits and, and enhanced visibility. Uh, you know, they will verify you, which means that you're ready to do business with retail. They'll check your insurance, check that you, all your UPCs, everything's in order, and then you'll get a verified symbol. And then because the retailers want to see the verified, uh, the range we verified suppliers first, they will, use, they will show up in the search results for a category. The other thing is it lets you also share the link to your profile and a lot of suppliers that are in our sessions, when they follow up with a buyer, they will send them their range me link so that the buyer can not only see the products that maybe they talked about during the discussion, but 
they could also see all of the other products. Some uh, suppliers actually prefer using Range Me to their own websites when they're following up because they can track all that stuff. So it, it's pretty cool how we work one off the other and it's really, really complimentary. Do you wanna share a little bit also about the resource that you're providing during the quarantine, the COVID-19 um, quarantine? Sure. Because I think it's interesting that a lot of trade shows were canceled this year. So brands are scrambling to try to figure out, oh my gosh, how will I meet with retail buyers? How will I sell products this year? And I have been really impressed with how ECRM responded by pivoting their in-person meetings. Do you want to tell them about your new program? We did, and this is going to launch. Our first one's going to be in mid-May, but we launched the ECRM virtual sessions. So again, it's exactly the same process, the same format as our in-person sessions, except it's on a virtual platform that's kind of based on our Connect app that we use at the in-person sessions except it's all digital. So the only thing that's different is that the meetings are like this, like me and you right now, uh, it's, and they're one-on-one. -on -one. So instead of one-to-many, like we have in the efficient supplier introductions, now you're getting that one-on-one, -on -one, you have the ability to take notes, you have, you'll see the information. If you're a buyer, you see the details about the supplier. If you're a supplier, you see the details about the buyers who are on the call. We could have multiple people from the buyer, multiple people from the supplier, though we just recommend two, just, to keep it simple, uh, but we've stress tested it with up to 18 people and it still works. It's a custom built platform. Uh, uh, it's got a ton of bells and whistles. Uh, you can take notes on it. You can rate each meeting. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of other things. We're going to have uh, best practices information on the prep site. So in fact, one of them is my interview with Emily about doing a successful virtual presentation. We're also gonna have marketing information uh, data on those things. All of the things that we would have for our in-person programs, we're going to deliver through this. The only difference is, again, it's the platform. And actually, Emily was able to take a test drive of it yesterday. <laughs> and it's pretty cool. I, I think that it's an improvement on Zoom because like you just mentioned, there's a lot more data it's so nice to be able to see information about the retail buyers that are viewing your presentation because you could you might forget a person's name or you want to remember which retailers are in your meeting so that you can really do a good pitch. So I thought it was really effective and a, a significant improvement on the Zoom meetings. And so to summarize what that program is, is that you are providing virtual meetings. So rather than if you can't, since you can't go in person, and you still want to meet with retail buyers, you can sign up with ECRM for these virtual meetings and you will be able to have face-to-face -face time with retailers and you don't have to travel. You don't have to even set up a trade show booth. You just have to make a, like a kick butt PowerPoint presentation or keynote presentation and, and bring yourself. I think that it's an exciting opportunity for, for any physical product brand. And that could include, you had mentioned also that some retailers who had not been able to attend before are now joining the ranks because this is the only solution and the best solution. So it's very exciting for anybody who wants to sell into retail to participate in ECRM, especially this year, if you haven't done it yet. Um, I think the next question I need to ask you is, when would a physical product brand know they're ready to go to ECRM? Because if they go before they're ready, they're not, if they're not retail ready and they get interest from CVS, it can have a bad reflection on them if they don't follow up, for example, or you, know, you don't want to hurt your relationship. You want to really use your investment of both time and money to its best, its best use. So when would I know I'm ready as a physical brand owner to go to ECRM? What do I need to do to be ready? Well, a couple of things. One, you have to uh, have all your basic ducks in a row, right? Your insurance, your, uh, your UPC codes. And, and you know that might sound a little obvious, but for some new industries like CBD, they're dealing with natural products, independent stores, and you know it's not as necessary. So you need to make sure you have all that, that your distribution capabilities are set up. But you also need to have a little bit of a track record too. Whether it's on Amazon, whether it's direct to consumer, you know, you want to have a little bit of a track record so that when you're talking to a retailer, they know that you can handle uh, a jump up in volume. You know, and, and obviously, you know, if you're an emerging brand, 
you don't want to aim to be like, okay, I want to be in all of Walgreens stores at the end of that. No, that's not going to happen. And two, you know, you want to progress gradually. So first you're on Amazon maybe, and you're doing a good direct to consumer business. Maybe start with a region. You don't get a warehouse in a region and go for the stores around there, go for the retailers around there. You know, then once you build up, go to the next step, bigger, bigger, you know, but you really want to make sure that when you're ready to take that step, that if the retailer says yes, you can fulfill that order. And you need to go in with an open mindset too, because, you know, I always say for suppliers, you always walk away with one of two things, hopefully both, but at least one of two things. And that's one, a follow-up that could lead to a potential order, but two, insights, learnings from the buyer that you could apply to your business to make it better. Here's an example. There was this one uh, Brazilian supplier that executed on this beautifully. He came to our pet session a few years ago with the express goal of picking the buyer's brains about how he should rebrand his products for the US market. And then after he had 50 to 60 meetings, went back, spent the next year rebranding everything, and then two years later came back with his rebranded products, knocked it out of the park. So, you know, you want to get one of two things or possibly both, but, you know, you always should get something from every meeting. I love what you just said, because that is the right perspective, is that every meeting that you have is an opportunity for not only you to sell your product, but for you to get to know that retailer and what their terms are. And if you can't meet with them or you can't meet their requirements this year, that does not mean you, you didn't get something out of that meeting. It means you now have the information so that if you, if you listen carefully and do a great job in that presentation, when you email them six months to a year from, that, from now, you can say, hey, I met you at ECRM. You said that I needed to have GFSI one. You said I needed to have organic ingredients. I've done exactly as you said, and I'm here to, to meet with you again at ECRM. And so if you have that type of a follow-up, that is, it says so much about your ability to follow through, to be reliable. And it, it's the type of response and reaction that will build confidence that will result in an order from a big retailer. So that's a great attitude and perspective to bring. This has been super helpful. I know that anyone who wants to consider ECRM, maybe learn some more information about pricing. I wanted to at least share with everyone where they could go find ECRM's information on the web. So this is ecrm.marketgate.com. And so if you are a seller, you would click this button and you can find information about the events and what it's gonna take and what it will involve. And you can come up here and click on your specific category. So even here they have all the different uh, events. Let's see. Oh, here are the categories. So if you're in food service, general merchandise, grocery, health and beauty care, pharmacy and medical, you just click on that and you'll see what available sessions are coming up. And of course, you can always reach out to Joe. He's on LinkedIn and he's constantly <laughs> getting direct messages, but you can also just click through here. To and as you see, I just want to point out right there, uh, you'll see the ones that are virtual now are indicated as such with the yellow, yellow wish kind of uh, banner. Right. And the ones that are, because we still are going to have in-person sessions. Those aren't going away, but, you know, when the time is right. And even ongoing, when we're past this whole COVID-19 thing, we're still going to have a virtual component as well. So, you know, this is changing the way people are going to interact ongoing. So we're just accommodating that, adjusting to it, and making sure that they, uh, you know, everybody can meet however, whenever, wherever they want. And, and the other thing they can touch on is at the top menu, you'll see programs and that will just bring you uh, to the list of all of our programs. So if you want to just see everything that we have, that's how you do it. And then the way that Emily just showed you is the way you could go by category. Yeah, there's literally a category for every person. And if you didn't know which one to attend, you can always email on, on each page. For example, this candy planning, there's the contact information of the person who's coordinating yep. it with ECRM. You can email them and say, hey, my business is this specialty type of candy. Would I be appropriate? What retailers 
are going to be attending, what other suppliers are there to figure out if you're a good fit. And if you want to go to Range Me, there's a link through ECRM or you can just go to rangeme.com and for suppliers here, you can see that they'll give you information about what it looks like to have your profile page, what types of stores and retailers are participating and the analytics that you get when you get to see those retailers that are checking in on you. And it's very exciting and inspiring to see, oh my gosh, a CVS buyer just looked at my product. So it's very simple to get a hold of. Joe, if anyone else wanted to get a hold of you, how could they do that? I'll put the links in the bio, but do you want to share? Sure. So my email address is a little bit long, but it's jtarnowski. That's J-T-A-R-N-O-W-S-K-I at ecrm.marketgate.com. Uh, obviously, you can find me on LinkedIn. Like Emily mentioned, I'm all over the place there. Uh, and then uh, I think all of my, and it will share all of my information in the post as well. Well, thank you so much, Joe, for sharing uh, ECRM with us and your time. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. Anyone else who wants to go to ECRM, go check it out and learn about it. We'd love to see in your comments if you end up going or if you have any other questions, we'll get back to you as soon as we can.